The first victim of Jack the Ripper, Marianne Nichols, was last seen alive in the early hours of August 31st, 1888. She was out to earn the money that she needed to rent a bed for the night. Nichols had remarked that getting the four pence would be no problem as she had an eye-catching new hat. Around 2.30 a.m., a woman saw her drunk stumbling down Osborne Street, but she refused to call it a night, and at 3.40, her body was found. Police and a surgeon were called to the scene, and she was taken to a nearby mortuary. It was determined that her throat had been slashed twice from left to right down to the bone. There were bruises on either side of her face where she had either been grabbed or struck, and her abdomen had been savaged, resulting in her intestines protruding from her body. In addition to several deep slashes, she had been stabbed repeatedly in both her stomach and genitals. It was estimated that the attack lasted roughly five minutes and that the knife was six to eight inches long. But to this day, the culprit has never been identified.